Reagan, and sorry about the lighting. It is currently very late at night, but I still wanted to film and upload a video for you guys, so I have a very interesting lighting rig going on right now. It's like we're having a slumber party, okay? But anyway, I wanted to film a Summer Reads recommendation video for you guys today because I love to make seasonal recommendations. This is going to be probably a little different than a lot of the reading recommendations for summer that you're going to get because I don't really read contemporary and I'm not going to make a video for you that's disingenuous about the type of genres I like to read during the summertime. So instead, I kind of accumulated a stack of books of things that I love to read during summer because if summer's not for fantasy and adventure well if any season's not for fantasy or adventure i don't know what what well, i don't even know what the world is the first two recommendations i have is the city of thieves by david benhoff and codename verity by elizabeth wayne these two recommendations are coming from a place of i personally love to read historical fiction all year round but during the summer i sometimes want to read a shorter historical fiction, but that doesn't mean I want the, the actual piece of work to be less or like, a you know, less hard hitting or less like dynamic. Uh, both of these novels are set during World War II. One is set in Russia, this one, and particularly The City of Thieves is fantastic because it offers a very, very um, interesting and almost in a lot of ways funny look at the Siege of Leningrad, which was an incredibly horrible time in history. So many people died. However, this story is kind of a whimsical tale of two men who set out on an impossible task to get a dozen eggs during a siege for the general, which if, when everyone's starving, finding eggs in the dead of winter in Russia is pretty difficult. This book is very great. It's very short. However, packs a lot of punch in terms of quality. And in the same token, Codename Verity is another World War II fiction novel. I love World War II fiction novels if you didn't know and this novel follows two women who are best friends in world war ii and they're both involved in the fight in different ways one ends up getting captured and it just kind of follows them throughout the story this story is magnificent for friendship just female friendship is just a beautiful thing for me to read and this has a fantastic duo this book has heartbreak hope and all sorts of things that you love to find in a story like this they're both really great so maybe pick one of them up. The next two things I have to recommend, I mean like I have to say something about the possibility of you guys reading and enjoying a long giant piece of epic, fan epic high fantasy. Because if it's not summer vacation and you don't read a long book, Come on, guys. So obviously here I have The Name of the Wind and The Black Prism, Patrick Rolfus, Brent Wee. Two of my all-time favorite uh, fantasy series. They're both absolutely outstanding. One is definitely more character focused and has beautiful poetic writing, and one is more plot focused with a very unique and cool magic system. They're both amazing though, you can't go wrong with either one. I really recommend perhaps picking up some fantasy. And this is probably the closest I'm gonna get to contemporary fiction, and it is actually magical realism, so I guess take that with the grain of salt. And that is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. This is one of my favorite books I read a few years ago. It is absolutely stunning. This follows, this follows a family through multiple generations of women, each of them having a very weird, unique, magical quality about them, and our main character and the the most recent of this generation is Ava Lavender, and she was born with wings. I love this book so much. I think it's beautiful. I think it's it really impacted me in a lot of ways. Um, it's just a very stunning book and a little package, and it's just a very fantastic, it's just such a good read. So if you haven't read this already, maybe consider picking it up this summer, because I really don't think you will regret it in any way at all. Next up is a YA fantasy that I haven't mentioned in a minute, so I wanted to bring it back up again, and that is Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta. This is a fantastic YA fantasy trilogy. This is actually written by a contemporary focused author. I don't know if authors can really be focused in any one genre. They are allowed to write with whatever they want, but mostly Melina Marchetta writes contemporary, and this was kind of her foray into fantasy, and boy oh boy was it fantastic. This is one of the most well-written, characterly developed YA fantasy series I have ever read. Uh, it's very complicated. Uh, it's very hard to even get into. But basically, the way that she's able to deal with people and deal with problems is so <laughs> similar to how our world is that it's almost uncanny, but it has a fantastic magical element to it. It keeps you thinking. It keeps you on your toes. The series is very, very, very good. 
And when you maybe need some more novelty and a little more fun in your life, I recommend picking up Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. This is one of my all time favorite children's stories that I love to reread and rewatch the movie, especially during the summertime. I am just taken by this tale. Just so, it's just so great. This follows our main character Sophie who kind of starts working for this bad wizard Hal and his moving castle. She finds out all sorts of things in terms of magic and her land and about herself and about Hal and it's just so amazing. I just love this story. It's just so dang good, okay? Plus, who doesn't love a Miyazaki film? Alrighty guys, those are all of the books I recommend you guys to read this summer, or just to inspire you perhaps on a genre. Um, let me know down below some books I should perhaps get to this summer, as I would love to know, and I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!